my career and, and, and Nomad is built on relationships. So the Premier League started with a pitch whilst I was ECD of Design Studio. So that was a pitch that we won and was originally done there. Also, how you get great work. I think it's all about relationships. So I forged a very close bond with the with the CEO, Richard Masters. We came very close and he trusted me deep, dearly to get this work done. Um, then after a while, they came back to me and we've been partners ever since. And that is... That, it, that really is that relationship thing, not that kind of provider service kind of thing. It's potentially a rethinking of, of how the industry is remunerated. Um, and we're seeing these kind of trends coming out where agencies are wanting to be paid on, on art, not outputs, being paid on kind of impact. Like, what have we actually done for the company? What is, you know you fundamentally change the perception of the Premier League. You know, that's a massive leap for them as a a company. You know, yes, it was a piece of design. And yes, underneath that was your hours and the work that you kind of put in. So I think it does become interesting when you start looking at your creative partners as, as exactly that, partners, who people you can come to and be like, we're thinking about this thing. Can you add your lens to it? I think you've got to back yourself um, to come up with the right idea. And, you know, we always talk about doing what's right for the brief and for the client, not for the agency. So I would I would totally be that kind of all in, you know, and and I guess the the classic way of that is some kind of um, a percentage of the business or the profit or something, which feels a bit like, I don't know, there could be a more partnership way of doing it. Um, But I think the difficulty is measuring success in a in a in a fair way, um, and just being if you can be clear on that at the outset, whether that is you know more subscribers, more viewers, more attribution, more love, more whatever. Um, I think you could get somewhere really interesting, but but I think we're so far away from that, and with most clients, we're still very much a service industry. You know, what other industries actually? pitch work for free you know you wouldn't ask three plumbers to come and fit three radiators and then choose the best work yet Mm -hmm. we'll put 10 people on a project for two weeks and practically do the project for free and hand it them on a silver platter and then beg them to work with us i mean it's it's crazy and that's our fault you know where we shouldn't be doing that a company that came to us and said we are interviewing three agencies like we would interview a staff member. So don't come and do work for us for free, but come and show up your best self. And if we like your best self, we'll work together. And I think that's a a much stronger way of working together because if you if you make people pitch, those costs have to get paid somehow. So, you know, if you win the pitch, you obviously recoup your money on the the jobs if you lose the pitch you you need to bake that cost into the other jobs that you're kind of doing it's a, it's a kind of logical stamp and then the the average narrative is that agencies are expensive but it's also part of how the industry is set up which is is almost combative between the agencies and the clients and i don't think it's necessarily the best way to to work i mean clients should choose us on our personality but we should choose them i think that's the one thing we don't do Mm. they ask for the chemistry meeting where we perform but we're we're not asking hey are you a really brave decision maker you know are you going to push this because we are Are you going to collaborate you're going to be all in with us we're not asking those questions because we're too service orientated you know i think you should be buying your clients based on a set of criteria and you should be buying your agency based on a set of criteria that is, do I like how they think? Do I like their process? Do I like them as a human being? Because if you don't say yes to those three things, the the working relationship is probably going to be terrible and the end result is not going to be as good as, as it could be. Great work, in my opinion, comes from trust and that trust comes from relationship. It is. It can happen without that. But in my experience, that the work I'm most proud of, that's come from relationships where I've worked really, you could see that we're all in this together. So the Premier League was four weeks of absolute 
unbelievable stress, you know, from a blank sheet of paper to printing a billion Nike footballs. But it was brilliant. And it got us to that solution because we had four weekly sprints where we brought the client in. We said, you're going to have to trust us. You're going to see a load of stuff that you're not going to like. You're going to see a lot of stuff that's crap because we've been working on it for a day. And every Friday they come to the studio, design studio, and we'd cover the walls with everything that we've done. And they trusted us and they walked around knowing they didn't have to buy anything. So we took all that pressure off their shoulders, off the linear 200 page PowerPoint presentation. And we just let them walk around the room, take it all in, have time with it, and then give us like really simple feedback on on where to push the next week sprint. You've been working in the Premier League for seven years. Like, how is that? relationship and that brand evolved over those seven years because you did that initial piece of work and now obviously you've been building on that like how has that relationship evolved um as as it's gone along my career and 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 nomad is built on relationships so the premier league started with a pitch whilst i was ecd of design studio so that was a pitch that we won and was originally done there um but i think what what is the difference between, and also how you get great work. I think it's all about relationships. So I forged a very close bond with the with the CEO, Richard Masters. We came very close and he trusted me deep, dearly to get this work done. Um, then after a while, um, uh, you know, maybe like a year, say, there are thereabouts, um, they came back to me and we've been partners ever since. And that is... That, it, that really is that relationship thing, not that kind of provider service kind of thing. And what that really means is, you know, the, it's going above and beyond the work. The, 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 you know, you have to over deliver every project. You have to get the pricing right. You have to be there for them. You have to have their back. You have to guide them. You have to say, no, you don't need this brand. You, have, you know, and there's so many things we do or I do for my clients that are above and beyond the work, you know, I've helped them get into schools, move cities, you know, uh, fi- find uh, new career opportunities for their partners. You know, it's like really is a relationship mm. and you are rewarded for that, you know, you're rewarded by loyalty. And that's all you can ask for, really. Uh, I think it comes back a little bit to that in the original conversation around you're not just thinking about the design. You're not just thinking about the branding, you're thinking about the business and you're understanding your your understanding of the product offering and the psychology of the people gets like deeper and deeper and deeper. So you're able to make those those kind of leaps much faster and in a much more interesting way that has a much higher po- like potential to shift a business and to change the the perception in the market their market share their you know all of these things that are ultimately going to lead your clients to be more successful hello youtube i'm ross drakes i'm the founder of nice work and thank you so much for your time at watching this video if you're seeing me it means you made it all the way to the end so we've at least done something right if you enjoyed this we'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up it really helps the channel and i think more important than that is if you know someone who might need to hear this, if you think someone out there who, who needs this, this message in their life, please spread the link because it, it makes a huge difference to the world and it allows us to fulfill our message of making sure that there are no more bad brands in the world. Thank you very much and we'll catch you in the next video.